All right. So, <laughs> a lot to be uncovered here. As you guys know, the Genshin preview for Inazuma, aka Genshin 2.0, is out. It's in the open. I made a video about it yesterday. Obviously, it's just a trailer. I just wanted to post that and only that yesterday. And it's kind of crazy. Uh, there's so much to be uncovered, so much to be said. But I just wanted to talk about Ball this video. I know I already have in the past, but it's mo that was like different than what it is now. First things first, Ball. I'm definitely something for her on my main account. As you guys know, or maybe you don't know, I do have a guaranteed for my next limited character. And I'm trying to decide if I should spend that limited character guarantee on either Ayaka or Yoimiya. And I sort of want Yoimiya on my account. But, here's the but. What if I just skip both? That makes the most sense in my head and that's probably what i'm gonna do but i'm kind of need i kind of need you guys' advice let me know in the comments down below if i should maybe roll for your mia or ayaka i'm probably not gonna roll for ayaka at all like at all at all which is unfortunate but i'll probably roll on your mia on my free to play account if i continue skipping both of those banners on my main account it, it's going to be absolutely insane i so much to be uncovered in this new patch, so much to be said about it, and I cannot wait for Inazuma to come out. Not only that, but Inazuma has a bunch of new characters that are going to be coming out. I'm going to try to make a video about them individually rather than cramming them all into this video here. But yeah, Ball, apparently the whole focus of Inazuma's story is based around her, which makes sense since they did the same thing with Zhongli, but not really in a sense and venti obviously those are you know archons you're gonna talk about them you're gonna say something about them and you're gonna follow them along in the story but here it's kind of like you're against the archon the archon now has the whole vision ton decree she wants to hunt down anyone with a vision and anyone that challenges her is met with death <laughs> at some at some occasions and not to forget kazuha's friend got eliminated by the archon herself it's kind of scary to think about but i am really excited to see what they do with the story they showed a bunch of clips and they talked about how she literally split a mountain in half with a sword accidentally whilst trying to kill a serpent and by the way serpent let's not even talk about what's in the ocean creeping around aether in the scene i'm gonna show you guys the scene if you haven't seen it and Oh my goodness, is it nuts? Is that Osile, like the mecha one that they were talking about making? I have no idea, but it's really scary. Alright, something else to talk about here is they're changing the weapon banner in a sense that they're adding a pity system to it. I'm not quite sure why they decided to do it this way, because this way it still kind of sucks. It's really unfortunate that they know the weapon banner does this. They know that the weapon banner is, you know, a scam, basically. I don't want to say that. It's not a scam. It's just you shouldn't be rolling on it if you don't have Prima Gems to buy. So if you don't buy anything, if you don't pay towards your account, if you don't top up your account, you're probably not going to spend all your Prima Gems in the weapon banner because you want the characters. You know, the characters are way cooler. It makes total sense. But what doesn't make sense is the pity that they made on the weapon banner. So yeah, the pity is 80, right, for a five star. And you have to get that pity three times in order for you to accumulate three fate points. And when you accumulate three fate points, you get the weapon in there. And I'm kind of scared <laughs> because I maybe, maybe I'm deciding to roll on that banner if the weapon on it is for balls specifically, because that's what I'm kind of hoping for. And I kind of want Baal's weapon in that. Obviously, in the trailer, it showed a sword. But I don't know if it's an actual sword or some sort of katana or whatever it is. It looks cool. It looks dope. Cannot wait to see what she does. Obviously, she's an Archon. So she's probably going to be pretty good. And that's me just, you know, speculating, saying, oh, Archon, probably good. But I really hope they don't do the Electro element, you know, dirty. 
because Electro in the past isn't exactly the greatest of all time, especially for DPS characters such as Kaching. Kaching is having a really tough time. Even with the Elemental Mastery buff, the Electro element itself does not do more damage because of the reactions. The reactions won't do more damage because of Electro Charge, because of Electro Infused Swirl, or whatever it is, it doesn't do that kind of damage. Even Overloaded, Overloaded has become slightly better, it has become sort of viable, but it's so annoying because anyone that gets hit with Overload is knocked back. That makes it really difficult to farm for whatever you want, that makes it difficult for you to properly initiate crowd control with any sort of electro character, especially because electro characters don't have crowd control, right? And it's kind of unfortunate that it is the way it is. But I really hope they don't do Paul dirty or Electro itself dirty by making it not so good. Especially because there's a lot of Electro characters coming out within this Inazuma whole ordeal, right? We saw a bunch of characters in there. We saw Yemika. Yemika is probably going to be Electro. It's screaming Electro for me. And I'm not quite sure if it is Electro. The bow user that's going to replace Fischl for sure. Um, probably not Oz. <laughs> if you guys can catch my drift there but yeah official is only good if you just want to like do swap comps but i think this new bow user is going to add some new support or maybe she could be the best dps in the game i have no idea bow users are kind of crazy man <laughs> so i'm hoping it doesn't exactly replace official but kind of just has some competition there just so you can have a lot of room for you to just shake up your you know team compositions I feel like that's pretty good but all in all i feel like they should make new types of characters for new types of weapons for example there is no catalyst for electro i don't believe there is one if there is one it'd be pretty cool other than lisa other than lisa lisa is the only catalyst that has you know the whole electro they did lisa dirty man uh, her elemental skill is pretty good because it decreases your defense or whatever and it adds like a stack or something but honestly Lisa is not an incredible character when it comes to that sense even though you could kind of build her kind of crazy with her whole defense shred or whatever I'm getting I'm getting a I'm getting way off topic <laughs> ball is coming I'm excited I'm gonna summon for ball and you know what Whilst I was talking to you guys, I did decide that I'm not going to be summoning on Ayaka or Yoimiya for that matter on my main account. But rather I'm just going to be summoning on Ball and just that banner alone. I want to guarantee Ball so I'm going to do exactly that. Anyways, on my free to play account, that's, an <laughs> that's, another, uh, that's another thing. I'm going to probably sum summon for Yoimiya on my free to play account which makes more sense. Anyways, this is going to be it for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel. We're almost at 370 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next video very soon. Goodbye.